Welcome back, everybody. In this episode, we're going to be creating a thumbnail for a pack finder Apex Legends stream. Uh, we have a total of 591 kills that we are going to try and include that into the thumbnail as well. So if you're new here, like and subscribe. Let's get to it. First, we're going to use Paint 3D. Paint 3D I like using because um, it's just everything. It's just great. It's just what I always use. So a lot of Paint 3D. Thumbnail sizes are uh, 1275, uh, 820. 12, 1285, 720. Wow. Just got that backwards. I like starting with the background. So we're going to go with the background. Take one of these. Approximate size is fine. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make the border a little bit thick. Nice thick border. We're going to make it 3D. You know what, let me just, uh... Perfect. Alright. We want enough room for the, uh, the layers behind it. And the layers we want as the, um... Uh, images, thumbnails, whatever, anything, um, logos... We want the border to be above everything, so by giving it some distance, um, we'll be able to put things behind it. Whoops. Oh, darn, I just moved it. I'll check the bottom just one last time. Alright. Okay, now that we got the border, let's look up some images. Okay. large files, nice detailed ones are the ones that we want. So I, I am going to be playing Pathfinder, so you want something uh, with Pathfinder or something of the subject matter. And mine is Pathfinder with Apex Legends, so we're going to look around. Um, I like to have the logo in there as well, so that's pretty cool. I like to have the logo in there as well, so you know what, let's, let's start up here. Let's grab this one right here. Uh, 1280 by 70, perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy, we're going to paste. Then we're going to hit Magic Select, and just grab the, the, the letters. We want to Magic Select the letters out of it. Let's remove this D because we want it uh, to be able to be seen, uh, see the background through it. So let's pull it apart. Got it? Copy. Control C. Control Z. Control V. Just like that. All right. And you know what? Uh, let's give it a different color. Let's give it a uh, maybe a gold. And maybe what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll highlight. Uh, we'll give it a uh, highlight of a um, of a black. I think gold may be a little bit too. We'll Control C. Control V. Pull out. Get the black spray paint. And we're just gonna go over the background of it real quick. The idea here is to have the Apex logo pop just a little bit, and maybe by giving it a black background, um, that should be fine. My computer glitches if I get, uh, increase the opacity or thickness, that's why I'm doing it at a lower opacity and just coloring it in. So there we go. All right, let's use the select, get it back closer to the size it was. We just want it to barely accent what we have. Just barely accent. And you want to pick a direction that you want it to go, so it can get, create like a, a nice 3D effect. So once you have that idea of which way you're flowing it, okay, just barely. I think that's perfect. It gives it a nice little background. Okay, Apex Legends, sweet. Now, I don't know if I'm going to stick with the gold. I'm still on edge right now, with the gold or no gold. Yellow, ooh, why not blue? I, I am a fan of blue. Why don't we try blue? See how that, see how that works. First, for some reason, that back background wants to uh, take the, uh, the bucket paint versus the, uh, the front. I don't know why it does that. See, like right there, just took the S. See, I can't click on that, so I have to click somewhere else. Okay, so that's good. Let's take the apex, let's bring it down a little bit. Let's put it back where they were. I'd say about right. Somewhere... Okay, just barely accents it. It's pretty cool. Okay. I think what we'll do is maybe have it a little bit higher. There we go. Just about right there. Okay. Control, click on everything. Or you can highlight it all. So if you highlight it all, now you have it as one group. Okay, the background and the front one. Alright, so we're going to keep that bad boy uh, just somewhere over there. Okay, right there. That's perfect for now. Uh, I'm going to go in my files. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, a photo that I took. That I took beforehand. And we're going to use one of those as the thumbnail image. So this is where I keep all my photos. We're going to go down. We're going to select... Um, Is dabbing still okay? Okay, so copy. Get out of that. Right click. Paste. What? Oh. Magic select. We want to cut away everything. Next. We'll manually cut everything. Okay, we're going to hit add. We want to add the hat. We'll add everything here. The sleeves. Everything here we want to add. All this we want to get rid of. This we want. This we want. Okay, start just etching away at everything. What I do to remove items, I just do one straight line. I don't try to cut around it or anything or make any designs because normally it's pretty good about knowing what objects you want. Like you see how I just did the hat? That's pretty good. That's what I'm looking for. So here we're just straight lines. Excellent. We're going to hit done. Okay. Reduce the size. Click on the back. Delete. Now we just have the dabbing. Excellent. Okay. I, I, yeah, I guess. Oh, crap. Put that right there. I don't know why I am dabbing. Yeah, yeah. Let's put this behind it. Yeah, it's a very simple thumbnail, I mean. So I'm going to put that right at the top, right there, because I want to add something else at the bottom. Flamingtext.com, okay? They let you use their fonts for whatever you want. They even like it if you um, credit them, too. So shout out to Text. Uh, we're going to do, I have 591 kills on Apex. 591 plus kills. 
We have a blue themed background, blue and black. Okay, keep that in mind. Blue and black. I always make the background transparent because what I do is I save it as a PNG and then I copy it onto there. Pattern, is there a blue? Some kind of blue? Shine color. What is the shine color? Okay, that's pretty cool. To be honest, I don't know what a shine color is. Oh, gold? Forget it. I'm sold. Click next. Right click. Save image as. Name it whatever you want. Pull up the folder. That logo though, uh, weird glitch, this always happens. Just take your, your back one and bring it up a little bit. There we go. I don't like how that font turned out, so we're gonna get rid of that. Yeah, that, I just... This one's fine. You know what, we'll put plain... Plain with subs. That's better. Ooh. Yeah. Gotta make sure it's PNG. Mix it where there's no background. What you see is exactly what you get, nothing else. So right click. Save, make sure it's a PNG at the bottom, yep, click what you want, name it. Okay, go back. Bam, there we go. Alright, it don't have to be that big. Oh, I can be right over the apex, oh, that's cool. Pathfinder. <laughs> Whoops. Um, well, technically, that's a Pathfinder, so... Okay. What? <laughs> sure. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just go with it. Let's go with it. I don't know, I don't care. Alright, well, 